but we've spent like probably hundreds of billions of dollars over the last 10 years into trying to pressure or incentivize companies into building EVs. And I, you know, I sent Rob a chart that shows the amount of material that t- is required to build an EV versus a gas powered car. And like, does this look like a good return on investment, especially when the output of energy is not higher? So I almost am forced to wonder since. But you're showing this. The average person wants to know. You and okay. I know what this is. Yes. Can you explain this? So, what this means? So the green circles are the amount of materials, like uh, metals and and whatnot, that go into the inputs of a car. The black circles are gas powered cars. So the you know, on, on you said regular car. No, that's green is EV cars, yes, ex- right? Yes, correct. So you need each one of those to build an EV car. Yes. And why is that so complex? It's um. Not something that I think would be created if the mar- if the market wasn't being forced to create it. That's the point, is that the government's putting a lot of pressure on companies to build it, but it's not something that would be really profitable or a good return on investment, I think, to, to build if it, they weren't getting pressure to do it. 